Yo, what's up guys? Back again with another video. And guys, this time's another unboxing of a new product. Well, not a car product. Uh, this is an unboxing, guys. I'm going to show you guys my new starter that I paid. Got this starter for 60 bucks. And uh, here we go, man. Let's break right into it. Okay. Now you can get to me. It's cheaper to get your parts on eBay. You know a lot of people be saying they hit the junkyard and all that kind of stuff. Man, you just better get on eBay and order your new, new parts. I don't really believe in buying on used starter. Me personally, come I start on my Pathfinder. Sometimes I don't say nothing. And sometimes she hit, hit the tap the starter a little bit, and then she crank right up. So I said, well, yeah, must be time for a new starter. Uh, it's in another box, as you can see here. There we go. Okay, let's get this box out of the way. So the starter was in a box. In a box, in a box. Okay, here we go. Brand new starter. Guys, I recommend you get on eBay, man. Get them new parts. Okay. Some people talk, I'm going to hit the junk, y'all. I don't recommend it. If you could buy a new, 60 bucks. Got a brand new starter right here. Brand new. I don't mean remanufactured either. It's a brand spanking new starter. Okay, guys, I'm just going to get it out there. Cast it here. There we go. Drop that there. All right, there we go. Brand spanking new starter. And I ordered mine from. I think it was. I think the name of the company is Starter. Something. The Starter Group or something like that, guys. But as you can see, it's brand new. It's not remanufactured. Remanufactured is all right, but um, I tell you guys, when they remanufacture starters, they only fix what's wrong with them. You know, they don't tell you that, but they only put what's wrong with the starters. It still ain't like new. See, this one here is brand spanking new. The factory. See here? You ready to go? What you want to talk about? See that? Yeah, well, and my recommendation, guys, when a car when a car get over a hundred thousand miles, I recommend you go ahead and change a whole lot of those parts, like your starters, alternators. Water hoses, your built serpentine belts. If you got a timing built, I recommend you go and change your timing built. And um, some of the things I recommend, you know, but a lot of people talk about, oh man, I'm hit the junk, yo, man. I don't even recommend you put no used parts on your vehicle, you know, especially no junkyard parts. That ain't my style, guys. As long as I got the money, I'ma always buy new parts. You know, I don't believe in buying used parts, man. I'm going to tell you, you'll be doing the same thing again sooner than later. No, don't buy no used parts, man. If you can, buy brand new parts. And like I said, I said once again, once a car get over 100,000 miles, I recommend you replace the starter, the alternator, the serpentine belts, fuel pump if necessary, water hoses, and stuff like that, guys. Timing built if your car has one. And uh, that's some of the basic things you need to change. Fuel pump, fuel filter, starter, alternator, servitine belts, and hoses, water hoses, you know. Because, uh, like I said, I don't believe in used parts. Not me. If I can get new parts, that's what I'm going to buy. I ain't going to put nothing used on my vehicle. <laughs> 
Because those are the main things that'll put you down somewhere, man. Start a play out on you, you messed up. Alternate will put you down because what it does is kill the battery. Serpentine builds break. It could, same thing, kill the battery. Also, could run hot depending on what type of vehicle you have. So, we recommend you change them. Fuel pump play right out all of a sudden. Won't get no fuel. They'll put you down anywhere. After 100,000 miles, I recommend you repl replace all of that stuff. I'm telling you. Replace it all. Time it built. Snap in a minute. Recommend over 100,000 miles. Replace it. Depends on if your car has one. Alright, guys. It's just been an unboxing of a new starter for a 2000 Nissan Pathfinder. Alright. Like I said, mine's click. Every once in a while, it won't say nothing. You go in there, tap it, give it a light tapping. She'll crank right up. I know right then, the starter's bad, going bad anyway. Don't do it very so often, but my eyes done it to me a couple times, and I just forget it. I just went on and bought a new starter. Better to be safe than sorry. Get somewhere that thing won't crank at all. That tapping will play out too. So, guys, if you tapping a starter, I recommend you go and get you a new one like I did. Because that tapping going to play out eventually, and you'll be stranded somewhere. Alright, so guys, take care, man. And uh, it's been an unboxing of a brand new starter, 60 bucks on eBay. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.